Dates are a crucial part of any programming language. They help us keep track of time and schedule important events. In JavaScript, we use the built-in date object to work with dates. As I mentioned in the previous video, objects is something that we'll go more in depth with later in the course. So let's get started. To create a new date, we simply type the word new followed by date with a capital D and make sure to also add parentheses at the end. This will create the date object. I'm going to assign this date to a variable called current date. And let's go ahead and console log this to see what we get. If I save my file, we'll get Tuesday, February 14th, 2023 with my time and my time zone as well. However, let's say we wanted to create a specific date. I'm going to go ahead and create a new variable called specific date, and I'm going to set it to new date. Inside these parentheses, we can add in values which will define the shape of the specific date that we want to create. So in this case, let's say I want to create a date with the year 2024, so I can pass in 2024 in this parentheses. We can also pass in another number which will be the month. So let's say I want it to be April, so I'll put in 3. Month in this case is going to be an index, which basically starts from 0. So in this case, 0 is going to be January, 1 is going to be February, 2 is going to be March, 3 is going to be April, so on and so forth. So 3 in this case is April. The next number that we can pass in is the date itself. So in this case, I'm going to pass in 15th. Now let's go ahead and console log specific date to see what we get. If I save the file, we get Monday, April 15th, 2024. Now we might also want to set the time. So to set a time, we can add more numbers after this. So I'm going to go ahead and set, first of all, the hour. Let's say I want it to be 11.30 a.m. I could set this to 11. After this, we can set the minutes, which is going to be 30. After the minutes, you can also go ahead and add seconds as well as the milliseconds. I'm not going to add that and I'm just going to save my file. We'll see we have Monday, April 15th, 2024, 11.30 a.m. So this is how you can create dates in JavaScript. Now let's move on to some common methods that we can use to work with dates. Methods are basically functions attached to objects. And if that flew over your head, it's totally fine. We'll go more in depth with them later in the course. The first method is the dot get full year method. If I save my file, we get 2024 in the console because that is the year that we created this date with. Another useful method is the get month method. So if I save my file, we'll get three. Again, this is an index, which means it starts from zero. So zero is for January, February is one, two is March, three is April. We set it to three, which is April, and that's what we get here. We also have a method called get date. And if I save that, we'll get 15, which is of course the date itself. We also have another method called get hours. And basically this keeps going on. You can get minutes, seconds, so on and so forth. However, we can also format our date into a string using a method called to locale date string. If I save my file, we'll get a string representation of the date. 